Patrick. It's a great day for jelly fishing. Oh yeah, SpongeBob, it looks awesome. Let's just let's go. Let's. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Where are all the jellyfish? What is Blazing doing here? Look in the sky. Is that your Asian milfoil? Oh, you mean Muriel Phylum Spicatum. Patrick, your genius is showing. How embarrassing. Let's go ask Sandy Cheeks and see what she has to say about it. Come on. Sandy! Sandy! Have you seen this plant? Oh, why well, yes. That's the Eurasian milfoil. It originated from Europe and Asia and came as early as the 1800s in North America. Where did you find it? We found it over there in the jellyfish fields. Well, let's go back to the fields and take a look. What? Plankton, what are you doing here? I came here to witness my diabolical plan take over Bikini Bottom. What plan? I introduced Eurasian warm milfoil to spread over Bikini Bottom and it fragments and there's nothing you can do to stop it. But I don't see what's so bad about it. It forms dense canopies and it will shade out all the native plants. The mats will increase the pH of the water while decreasing the oxygen concentration and increasing the temperature. So it'll only affect us? Nah, it clogs the drainage and power generators of humans and interferes with any recreational activities. We'll stop you! <laughs> Let's go back to Sandy's and figure out a plant. Good yeah, luck. right. Good luck. All right, so we know that the Eurasian milfoil is a producer and has no natural predators in the United States, but it is not a good source of food for the waterfowl. It also provides a good breeding ground for mosquitoes. Well, based on these charts, we also know that it spreads by attaching to boat trailers and it can reproduce rapidly and successfully by fragmenting into seeds. We need to find a way to stop it, guys. Is it easy to get rid of? Milfoil management costs the state and private individuals up to $1 million per year to get rid of it. But we don't have that money. We could rob a bank. No, Patrick, that wouldn't Well, work. we could try that fancy new herbicide called sonar, or we could hand pull it. No, those only work on small ponds. Well, what if we did harvesting, rotovation, or diver dredging? We don't have that kind of time, though. Can citizens do anything to control the problem? Not much, except they can clean their boats to help prevent the spreading of it. I got it. Let's make a formula to kill the species. I will research this experiment, and I will call you when call I... Call us when you're ready. Good luck. I have created a formula that will kill the milfoil during a critical, critical stage of its life. Please explain. The milfoil starts growing in the spring, and then in the winter it becomes brittle and breaks apart into fragments, and these fragments sink and start growing into different parts of the pond. So your formula kills it when it gets brittle? Exactly. Alright, let's go kick some milfoil butt! Eat this! Oh my life! 